we have a brand new air filter. Today, we are gonna be fitting this to this Audi S3. But first, we've gotta wash the car. We'll see you back at the garage where we're gonna rip the stock air filter off this car. Is modification time. This time we are going for a power slash noise upgrade. If you missed last week, I did an unboxing of this air filter. Pipe across. Open cone induction kit. Job number one. Open the bonnet. Two litre TFSI Audi engine. This is a standard airbox which is coming off the car. So the first thing we're doing is we are loosening the back bolt on this Jubilee clip down here. Next thing I've done, I've pulled this vacuum pipe off the stock side of the airbox. It was on this little pipe here. Apparently this should come off now. Jeez. The stock airbox is done. Look at the size of this thing. Got helpers in the garage today. We are swapping out that monstrosity for that. How clean is that? So that full bad boy is coming out and that is going in. Also gotten rid of my bonnet insulation. This stuff is so thick and it deadens so much sound from the underneath of my bonnet. So we should have some pretty cool engine noises. Okay, we've now got a gaping hole from the back of the turbo, which is there, all the way near the battery. It asked me to take this bolt and this bolt off. I'm literally just following, following some instructions that come with the kit. It actually is asking me to take this intake section off the front. Jeez. There you go. Eat that, my Frenchies, it's all yours. We've got to put these brackets on, because these are what are going to hold the heat shield in place. It's coming together. We're not a mile off here. Okay, it is moving on swiftly. So I've installed the intake section at the front back on. I quite like this because it keeps this pipe nice and tight. And actually it's probably going to deliver quite a good flow to the open cone filter. That's providing that it fits with this. We're gonna see when it comes to it. There was a bolt on the side of the head that was like part of a bracket. So I undone that and then I noticed on the side of the intake pipe, which I've got in my hand right here, you actually bolted the intake pipe to the side of the head of the engine. This part was probably my favorite part of doing this whole project. This was getting all the silicon adapters and the Jubilee style clips and actually installing them on the intake pipe and then putting them in place. It was quite technical. I had to spin all of the Jubilee clips in different ways so I could access them with my sockets. There's a lot of bends in this pipe and the actual silicon adapter hose is actually curved as well. So. It was pretty fun, this project. It was actually interesting in terms of putting it together because it actually required a little bit of head work to get it to actually be the right angle. I had a lot of fun doing the air intake today and this was definitely one of my favorite parts of today's project. So moving on swiftly, we've got a bracket which goes between the side of the head and the intake pipe. So that's obviously going to go together. This section on the intake pipe is for this little hose that if you remember I removed earlier on in the video. I decided in the end that I was going to run the Jubilee clips exactly like this, giving me access at the top and at the back when it's really in there. So we are going for the install. We're going to put the section through the hole on the heat bracket, which is going to allow us to push the back down and into place on the turbo pipe. I think it might be called an inlet. Could be wrong, don't judge me. Bit of fidgeting, bit of moving around, and we managed to get it in. 
was pretty happy at this point as the bracket lined up pretty nicely on the side of the head. Kind of showing me that I'd done it right up to now. So, next, moving on swiftly, we got to the actual cone filter. Where I had to put like a piece of silicon piping between the filter and the actual intake pipe. Which wasn't too bad, I actually fitted to start with the first Jubilee clip so that it was solid, then installed it on. But I actually realised that it would be kind of doing pipe across a disservice if I didn't spin the comb filter so that the logo was on the top. Stupidly tightened it up well before I was due to tighten it up, so I had to loosen it back up, move it back up and re-tighten it back up. But it looked really, really cool once it was in place and the logo was on show. So I'm really happy that in the end I decided to run the stock cold air feed just because I think this is going to run healthy cold air to the open comb filter. The bracket on the side of the head is actually super solid to be honest. I'm actually really happy with how structured it feels. All the heat shield is bolted in nice and the logo just looks awesome on show. All the Jubilee clips are tight. Nice piece of silicon between the intake pipe and the open comb filter. The metal is a really cool material, which I'm pretty happy with. And uh, everything's solid and tight, and I think that looks awesome. Looks heavily modified, just at a glance. Definitely doesn't look like a stock airbox. How about we take this thing out for a spin? Let's go. Welcome to some POV content. I have literally driven in eco, letting the car warm up. Okay. Nice. Oh my God. That is so noisy compared to what it was. The intake is mad. That sounds sick. That sounds actually pretty crazy for an intake from a stock air box just to an air filter. Why would you not do that? It actually sounds pretty mad. All right, we're gonna pull out. Oh my God. I'm hyped on that. That is actually, actually, actually crazy. What a difference. Listen to the down gears now. So much more lively. I would argue the car, the car feels like it's driving a little bit more lively. That is actually insane. I'm hyped on that. This is what she sounds like from the outside. What is actually pretty cool about this is you never really get to hear an air filter because usually you've got an exhaust overpowering an air filter. This has obviously got a completely stock system on it, which is kind of cool for this video in particular because you can actually hear the difference once you put one on the front. Obviously, normally you would just hear that insane pipe on the back, but it's so quiet, a stock Audi S3, that you can just hear the intake, which is really cool. So I'm happy about that. The air filter sounds mad. Sounds mad. Sounds pretty crazy now. Hyped on that. 
That right there is going to be the end of a car mod episode. Shout out Piper Cross for the air intake system. Absolutely over the moon. Pretty easy install. Pretty basic mod for a first mod to the Audi S3. Stay tuned. In the next couple of weeks, we are going to be putting this Audi S3 on air ride. It's totally totally slamming it to the floor so make sure you stay tuned for that it's going to be a sick playlist thanks for watching today's episode make sure you get involved in the comments below with any car mod ideas for the audi s3 any positive feedback or suggestions hit me up in the comments below make sure you hit the thumbs up button and turn your notifications button on and i'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching as always see you in the next episode